I'm stopping at St. Vincent de Paul to see if I can find anything that I can make a profit on. I saw this vase that looked kind of interesting and it did have a signature on the bottom, but I couldn't make it out. Unfortunately, I had some chips and some wear and I decided to just leave it behind. It's looking through the glassware. They always have a lot of glassware at this thrift store. As well as dishes. I have found some pretty good sets of dishes here in the past that I was able to make money on. It's just usually hit or miss here. This was a antique looking vegetable bowl, I believe. Um, thought it was probably German. I could not make out this mark. It's pretty blurred out and worn. So I tried really hard to read it and I couldn't. But I left that behind. This floral plate stood out to me. It is plastic. Very pretty though. They always have these boxes full of dishes and it's usually sets. But I couldn't figure out the maker on this one. It's very pretty. I checked a few pieces but didn't find a maker's mark. This was some kind of terracotta pottery but I couldn't figure out what it was. And this was some hobbyist piece. It's an interesting looking dish. I just wasn't finding a whole lot. Here's some cute doggies, but these were resin. So I left those. And this blue and white porcelain shoe was made in China. This teapot was like a splatter painted hobbyist piece. And this is a Indiana glass compote. I've sold it in blue before, but this was the milk glass version. I did not pick it up. This I thought was Mexican pottery. It looks so colorful, but it's a tin box. This was an interesting little dish. I thought it was pretty, but I did not pick this up. And this bell, I can't remember where it's from, but it wasn't Wedgwood or anything. Here's a hen on a nest, a ceramic piece, but it had some chips in it. By this time, I was thinking of giving up, but then I found a cute little rabbit figurine. This is a Nesco. It's very pretty, so I decided to pick this up. I also picked up this small little Navajo pottery vase. I really liked it, and so I picked this up as well. I ordered some coffee from the Crazy Lamp Lady. Um, it is the chocolate bunny flavor. Really excited to try this. She included this adorable sticker in the package. So my husband and I love coffee. So it is available on her website, knickknacks.net. The coffee is delicious, very chocolatey. I'm excited to try other flavors that she offers. 
So while I'm drinking my coffee, I'm wrapping some eBay orders. I have four orders to package. This first one is a crate and barrel glass egg cup. Got this at Goodwill for $1.99 and it sold on eBay for $10.39. Also sold this fun Halloween ceramic decoration. This is vintage from 1989. I think it used to light up so his eyes would have lit up but it no longer works. He sold on eBay for $12. I also sold these tiles. I forgot to make a video clip of them. They sold for $17.59 and I got them in an online auction. And then I also sold these two Corningware skillets. Um, one's a little larger than the other in the cornflower blue pattern. I got these a long time ago at Goodwill. Probably paid $1.99 each and they sold together for $19.99. I had another sale on knickknacks and it's that funny little glass mouse. Let me pull him out. There he is. He is so funny looking. I don't know who makes him, but he's like a cobalt blue glass. He sold on knickknacks for $12. I had another sale on eBay and it's for these Pottery Barn plates. There's a set of four. They all have different um, designs on them, but it is a set. They're really cool looking. Um, they also had at Goodwill the matching little condiment plates or little ramekin plates that match this set. So I paid less than $10 for the four salad plates and the four little condiment dishes. And they sold on eBay for $42 plus shipping. I had another sale on eBay and it's one of these Starbucks mugs that I got not too long ago. I paid less than $2 for it and it sold on eBay for $13 plus shipping. I'm at Goodwill. Haven't been to this one in a while. So we're gonna go in and see if we can find anything to make some money on online. Oh, his ear is purple. This is adorable. I would have picked him up if his ear was not purple. It's a cute picture with strawberries. Don't need it though. Ooh, this is cute. Treasure crabs. Might have to look that one up. That's adorable. And then I saw this. I think it's a potpourri maybe holder. but I think contemporary. I don't know what they are. They're too light to be bookends. Maybe I'll look them up. And they have a lot of Coca-Cola dishes. I'm not sure if these are worth the picking up. I don't know. 1996. Hmm. Maybe I'll look them up. A set of four of these sell for about 16 so about $4 a plate. Roughly the same on all of them. So I'm not going to pick these up. I decided to put this in my cart and I'll think about it at $5.99. And I found another glass vase, $7.99. It's very heavy. So I'm going to think about that. And then I found two cats. It's getting really busy now, so I had a hard time filming me finding them. One is a little contemporary scrubby holder. So I might pick it up. $3.99 is kind of a lot though. And I 
found this guy. He is so cute. I don't know if he's missing something with, with those holes in his head. Willie Ray Studio? I'm not sure. I'm going to look it up. It's really getting busy now. I finally found an aisle all to myself. What is this? It's pretty. I don't know. Hair ties, hair stuff. Um, oh goodness. I've got too much glass in my heart. Oh, look at this tractor. Hmm. Feels like metal. Oh no, $3.99 on that. Might have to look that up. It's like a planter. Baseball planter. For $1.99. That's kind of cool. Okay, and it says Japan under the sticker, so I'm gonna grab that. This is missing its lid. Poland. Wow, very pretty, but no lid. So it has to go back up. These are interesting. They feel like somebody painted over clear glass. Like it doesn't feel very good. So those are not coming on, coming into the cart. Another Coke thing. So somebody definitely donated their, their Coca-Cola collection. Would that be a toothbrush holder? Ew, I don't like getting toothbrush holders. Kind of grosses me out. Here's one of those weird creations. Oh, that's a really weird one. Not sure what they were doing there. Oh. This is Reed and Barton, it's good. It's Oneida, which is also a good brand, but I can't ever seem to sell any silver plea unless it's Reed and Barton. She's so pretty. Made in Korea. She's cute. Her flowers look good. Maybe I'll look her up. Okay, I have to put this cat back. He does have antlers that are missing, and even with the antlers, he only sells for about $16. So shame, he's so cute. I don't want to pay $4. And as cute as he is, I'm not going to pay $4. He doesn't sell for very much. Sadly, he's going back too. I also decided to leave the birds behind, although I'm kind of regretting it now. Okay, this is going back too. It only sells for less than $20. So cute. No, can't find it. So I'm getting... Two glass vases, that planter, and the Starbucks mug. That's it. Okay, I lied. I just found something else. This cat is too cute to leave behind. So I'm getting him too. This is an adorable cat lover's mug made in England. It's 
very clean. There's no spoon marks. It's got a little paint flaw there on that one paw print. Like where one of the toes is far away from the others. But that's the only problem. And it's not vintage, but it's a very cute mug. I'm actually going to try this in my Whatnot sale today. I'm going to start the bidding at $10. And it's also going to go on Knickknacks and eBay if it doesn't sell on Whatnot. I'm listing this adorable Pier 1 chubby cat mug that I got recently. This is not vintage, but it's so cute. I'm probably going to list it in my next Whatnot sale today, starting at $10. Um, if it doesn't sell, it'll go on knickknacks and eBay. People have it listed around $20 on eBay, but it looks like it's selling more in the $10 to $12 range. So we'll see how it does on Whatnot first. I'm listing this mug on eBay and probably knickknacks. It is a really cool speckled stoneware mug with the bamboo design on it. And it's by a company called Clay in Mind. So it is vintage, probably worth about $12. So I'll probably put it up at $12.99 on eBay and $12 on knickknacks. I had two sales on eBay. The first is this really cool shadow box. It's got some miniature porcelain in there. It's so adorable. I got this at Goodwill a long time ago. Um, it does not open up. It looks like it does, but it doesn't. Um, I probably paid three or four dollars for it. And it sold on eBay for $25. I also sold these Pier 1 glass reverse painted bowls. They're really neat. I have a set of two here. They're red and gold and black. These sold for $29.99 for the pair. I had another sale on eBay. And it's this awesome Raku Pottery Snail. I have him in my Whatnot room because I've had him on a few Whatnot sales. And he hasn't sold. Look at his face. He did sell on eBay though for $23.99 plus shipping. Well, that'll do it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, could you give it a thumbs up? And I will see you in the next one. Bye.